Hello everyone. Welcome to the Makri Virtual. Hope you are doing good. Today I am going to continue with your same module that is employability and the professional development and the new we can say the new PDF that is for the employability and the professional development but the concept is same overall is same but uh, the last concept last PDF that is saved for your reference so that your concepts are or uh, we can say the crystal clear your concepts. So let's start with the new module that is the uh, employability and the professional development. New module in the sense new PDF of the module, not new module. <laughs> Uh, so let's start with this employability skills that is the attitude and the attribute that is what are the various attitude what are the various attribute that is available in the employability skills so employability skill that is the attitude and the attribute first is the introduction of the employability skill the first one is the introduction so employability skills is rapidly changing with the global competition so whatever the global competition it is changing the employability skills so this is the introduction of the employability skill that is how the introduction takes place or what is the employability that is the what is the employability skill that is taken into the account that is employability skills. So this is the introduction that says that the employability is rapidly changing with the global competition and the new technology has a, an, an increased pressure to perform. So whatever the increased pressure, whatever the new technology that has been formed, th that has been increasing in the global market, global competition and the new technology and the new increased pressure to perform and the 21st uh, century uh, that graded or that graduates need to demonstrate to the employer that they can respond to the requirement of a diverse and the dynamic workplace. So whatever the dynamic workplace, whatever the 21st century uh, graduate that need to demonstrate to the employer that they respond to the requirement of a diverse and the dynamic workplace. That is, a, they have or they show the or uh, employers have to put the uh, every effort in the practical way. They have to show that they respond to the requirement of a diverse and the dynamic workplace. In the current climate, a degree is no longer enough. In order for a graduate to remain competitive, that is, in order to remain competitive in the uh, workplace, in the dynamic workplace, in the current time, a degree is no longer, we can say, enough. So, degree is no longer enough. In order to graduate, to remain competitive, that is, the deg uh, degree for the graduation is not enough, but for the making the graduate person very competitive, they need to have acquired and to able to demonstrate the key employability skills that will compete or complete their academy achievement. So whatever the achievement, whatever the target they are achieving, they are going to achieve with a demonstrated key that is employability skill that will complete their or complement their academic achievement. That is along with academic achievement, along with academic result, along with academic studies, there should be also the, we can say the employability skill that is available in the employee so that the employees can develop or employees can perform well in the interviews, in the uh, professional life, in the changing environment. That is the main aim. That is the main criteria for uh, making the employability skills. So employment uh, market is rapidly changing with the global competition, new technology as an, uh, and an increased pressure to perform. 21st century graduate need to demonstrate to the employer that they respond to the requirement of a diverse and the dynamic workplace. And in the current uh, climate, a degree is no longer enough. In order for a graduate to remain competitive, they need to have acquired uh, and be able to demonstrate key responsibility or key employability skills that will complete their academic requirements. So in order to uh, complete their academic requirements, in order to complete the academic requirement of the people, so there should be employability skills in the people that will demonstrate that will complete their academic requirement. That is employability skill, that is the attitude and the attribute. Graduate recruiters are looking for the graduate who can, uh, or we can say, or uh, whatever the employees, who or several the employees that is the recruiters that are, that are looking for the graduate who can articulate and provide evidence of employability skills that is growing from both the academic and the extracurricular experience. So whatever the graduate, whosoever the graduate that looks for the employees, that looks for their, uh, we can say the employees in the organization that that is a graduate. as well as they have a evidence of employability skills that is drawing from the both the academic and the extracurriculum activities. So whatever the academic, whatever the extracurriculum and the academic facilities that is available such as a work experience, full entering, internship, laser interest, ETS. So there are many uh, evidences that is available of the employability skill that is used for the academic and the extracurriculum experience. So recruiter uh, looking for the employees, looking for the people who are well experienced in the employability skills in terms of both the academic and the extracurriculum experience. Now, uh, now question comes, what is the employability? 
that is focused on enhancing the academic personal and the professional development so employability enhances uh, all the three concepts all the uh, concept that is academic that is a personal and the professional development of learners to meet the changing needs of the employer so that is employability that focus on enhancing the academic part personal part as well as the professional development so there will be academic development there will be personal development there will be a professional development of the learners to meet the changing needs of the employers the economy and the society so there will be increase in the academic part there will be increase in the personal part there will be increase in the professional development of the learners uh, to meet the demand of the market or we can say to meet the changing needs of the employers economy and the society And over the last 20 years, the definitions of employability have shifted from the demand-led skills set towards a more holistic view of graduate graduate uh, graduate attributes that include softer transferable skills and person-centered qualities. So over the last 20 years, or from the last 20 years, the definitions of the employability have shifted. Uh, we can say the definition of the employability, who says what is employability, that shifted from demand-led skills to the more holistic view of the graduate attribute so it dem uh, it shifted from the demand led skills what are the demand led skills to the holistic view of the graduate attributes that includes transferable skills and the personal centered qualities that is developed in connection with the subject specific knowledge so whatever the knowledge whatever the subject specific knowledge that is available that is developed in the people that is developed in connection with the subject specific knowledge skills and the competence so these are the various we can say the employability skills that is available with the graduate that contains in the or the developed in the condition with the graduate uh, knowledge and the attribute that is available in the employability so employability focus on enhancing the employability skills that in terms of the academic person and the professional development of the learner now a widely accepted definition of employability is this is a widely accepted definition a set of achievements skills understanding and the personal attributes that is a a set of achievement means a group of achievement or we can say the bunch of achievements that contains the skills that contains the understanding and that contain the personal attri attribute that makes the graduate or that makes the graduates more likely to gain employment and be successful in their chosen of occupation so, the, so that makes the graduate that that helps to gain the employment and be successful in their chosen occupations which benefits themselves the workforce the community and the economy so that that may be a skills that is used for the economic development that is used for the academic part that is available in the academic part uh, that is used for the personal attribute that makes the graduate more likely to gain employment and be successful in their chosen occupations whatever the field that is that may be a workforce that may be a com that may be a community and that may be a economy it may be a workforce it may be a economy it may be a <laughs> it may be a community that is used for the workforce that achievement that is the achievement that is employability so this is a we can say the widely accepted definition of the employability that is the main definition of the employability that is used uh, so that is a uh, we can say the proper definition of the employability that is used for the employable concept so it is a set of achievement skills understanding and the personal attribute that makes the graduate very well defined for the employment and beyond this there is also importance of the career management skills that is used as well as uh, evidencing the skills attitude and the attribute that depends on that depends on the degree of the attribute that makes it important for these to the very variable attribute so beyond this the bridge work they recognize uh, attribute the or the importance of the uh, career management skills as well as evidencing the skills attitude and attribute that is developed through uh, or throughout a university degree so it is important to be able to affiliate these for example via strong cv completion of the application form that matched again the person specification effective interview technique understanding of the political and the economic issues organization face and a continued reflection and review via personal development planning these are the various uh, we can see the importance of the career management skill that is available that is also a part of the employability so employability means we can enhance the personal attitude professional attribute as well as the skills of the employment and two-fifth of the bosses surveyed by the Abrakhi trust that is a guardian career 2014 suggests that they want to get an understanding of the personal quality graduate bring to the table 
but now and in, in the future so they need a uh, graduate who have a good personal attribute also that is available on that uh, uh, we can say that that is available in the persons and one fifth also said that candidates with volunteering or community work on their cv go straight to the top of the interview file and the study also revealed there will be demand for the soft skill also and there also be a soft uh, the strong ethnic part that is also used for the academic commitment so uh, larry so sorry for the delay there is some important phone call that is available at my phone so i have, I have to attend that call so now let's start the session again don't waste the time right now by explaining each and everything so this is a uh, uh, two fifth of the bosses survey that the, there are uh, multiple or they, they get an understanding of the personal quality graduate that bring to the table both now and the future and one fifth also concentrate or also said that the candidates with voluntary or the communication work on their cv go straight to the top of the interview line so it depends on the employer to employer that is how they work or how they feel while they recruit each other and they look for the employability skills in the we can say the in the employees in the personals or in the persons or in the candidates so whoever go for the persons they reveal the strong ethic they reveal the strong commitment and the communication skill and the teamwork are also played an important role in the manager's point of view and furthermore university follow up of the graduate destination that is the via the destination of the leavers from the higher education that is a dlhc survey which takes place every year so in every year there will be a we can say the destination of leaves from higher education that is a dlhc survey which takes place each year and evidences a strong trend in the importance of the networking skills and mining the personal and the professional contact to source the employment so whatever the networking skill whatever the employability skills that is available that is used for the employment that is used for the contacting the employment and the effective use of the social media has become more important and it's increasingly used by the employers for recruitment purposes now in conclusion uh, so we, when we conclude the uh, networking skills so there should be a networking skill there should be a personal skill there should be a professional skills to source the employment and the effective use of social media has become very important and increasingly used by the employer for the recruitment purposes so whatever the purpose whatever the recruitment procedure that is used by the employer for the recruitment purposes and in conclusion the term employability skills can be seen as a uh, short and expansion of the range of the complex attitude or the skills so whatever the attribute whatever the skills that is required that is a, that is can be seen as a as a short and expansion of a range of the complex skills attitude and attribute whole component parts are so what are the various component parts of the employability skills that is a subject specialization or we can say the spe uh, subject specialism then generic employability skills so, so there should be a we can say the a person should be very very proficient in their subject for example i am proficient in my subject that is it that is information technology you are proficient in your management subject for example and anyone can uh, per perfect in the accounts anyone can perfect in the business so it depends on the person to person but the one one we can say the subject is the uh, strongest subject that is specialization takes place in only one subject we can't say only but uh, uh, in most cases in only one concept so there, there will be a proper command on that subject then next is generic employability skills so there should be a common generic or we can say the common employability skills among the employees of the uh, we can say um, among the employees of the company or um, among the candidates who are looking for a job, a job so there should be a generic or general employability skin, uh, skills among the students and the range of attitudes attributes that is identified as important to the employer so that is a range of attitudes uh, attribute whatever the attribute whatever the attribute that is available that is identified as important to the employer so that is identified as an important part of the employer that is the attitude and the attribute then work experience or employment so whatever the work experience whatever the employment that is available that is a work experience or employment so these are the common parts of the range of the skills attitude and the attribute that is available with the employability skills then work experience or the employment so whatever the work experience that is a main part of the we can say the candidates who are looking for the interview that is employability skills that is a prior experience among the students among the children then career management skills including a cv strongly market the individual 
completing application form to a person specification proactive use of the social media interview techniques and the personal development planning so there should be a career management skills that also include the cv that the curriculum vitae that strongly makes the individual or uh, that strongly markets the individual completing the application form to a person specification proactive use of the social media interview technique and the personal development planning so these are the various career management skills that includes or that is available in the person that is also a part of the employability skills and the ability to review and reflect and build on all of the above so whatever the ability whatever the content that is available that is view, uh, used to view and reflect and build on the on all of the above that is employability skills so these are the various employability skills attitude and the attributes uh, that are the common parts that th these common parts are subject specialization generic employability attribute uh, range of the attitude attributes work experience career management skills and the ability to review and build on the all of the above next is employability skills attitude and the attributes so after carrying out a research from the employers and the various studies the university of bolton has listed the top 10 core skills so after carrying out a, a range of research that is available uh, from various employers so after getting a research from the employers and the various studies the university of the bolton there is a university that is the university of the bolton has listed the top 10 core skills attitude and the attribute that uh, it feels that every student should acquire throughout their time here at the university so whatever the requirement whatever the uh, issues whatever the skills attribute that is a uh, um, uh, the top 10 skills that are available that are listed below that makes every student should acquire throughout their time here at the university so these are the various skills that is available with or that is uh, used with or we can say that is along with every student at the university now what are the common skills first is the communication so there should be a we can say proper communication between the various students among the various students within the university then teamwork so students also can also play the teamwork and also work for the team uh, team that is a teamwork that is they work in the team not in the individual but the target is to or the aim is to target the goal or the aim is to target the opinion target the goal with the common task with the common scenarios then application of numeracy that is a, there should be a numerical concept that is applications of numeracy that is a next uh, we can say the skill then organization and the time management so there should be a proper time management there should be a proper organization management among the employees that is the organization and the time management the next is the problem solving so uh, every every student can have a capacity for the problem solving that is the problem solving then flexibility and the adaptability so there should be a proper flexibility there should be a proper adaptability that the student is flexible uh, that the one of the skill is student is flexible among the various courses and also adaptable for example if one student is uh, seeking the management courses and if the management courses for example has dumbed down right uh, that the dumbed down means has gone so it eventually have a flexibility or student have a flexibility to move to the computer department because the university has no choices university has to change to the computer department that is the flexibility and the adaptability means student can adapt to the new code that is adaptability next is the action planning next is the self-awareness next is the personal impact and the confidence so there should be action planning the student must be uh, plan or they must plan for the action which what is the next action what is the next scenario that is the action planning then the self-awareness then the personal impact and the confidence and the initiatives so self-awareness means the self-confidence among each other uh, self-awareness then the personal contact or the personal impact and the confidence then there should be a initiative that is an initiative among the students and employers also cite other key attributes such as the commercial awareness leadership and it as being equally important so employer also cite other key attributes what are the other key attributes such as the commercial awareness such as the leadership and the IT that is equally important for the graduates that is the other key attribute that is also a part of the employer and this should be viewed as an introduction to the employability skills whatever the employability skill that is required that is employability skills and the fully comprehensive 
self assessment checklist embracing a much wider list of the employability skills attribute and the attitude that is available from the cricket or career team so whatever the career team that is available that is uh, that is used for the employability skills that is also one of the skill that is available with the employability and this can be used as a working document and used for the action planning for development throughout your undergraduate studies so this can be carried out or these we can say these modules or these skills can be carried out throughout the development throughout the undergraduate studies now next is this is the employability skills attitude and the attribute now how to develop the employability skills and how to develop the attitude and the attribute among the employees among the candidates that is the attitude and the attributes so first is through the academic study so first 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 uh, way to develop the employability skills through the academic study or the we can say the attitude and the attributes through the academic study so it is important for you to plan the development of your employability skills early on in your course and understand that the learning process you are undertaking as a part of your degree that has value in other context so whatever the context whatever the degree that is used whatever the planning that is used for the development of the employability skills that is early available in your course and understand that the learning process you are undertaking as a part of your degree has value in other context that is a if you are studying uh, one topic in one subject for example dbms that works for the sql that works for the oracle in the same way when you studied about the computer basics that works for the c programming that works for the c++ that works for the java as well as for the dot net that is employability skills or developing the employability skills through the academic study that is a one part is related to the another part so if you learn something that is that is becomes a part of your uh, next degree that is a value in the next context a small minority of students will be undertaking their studies purely to learn but with changes to current free design research suggests that the majority of the student should come to the university to enhance their career and the job prospect so it is a majority of the minority of the student that is undertaking their studies to learn but with the changes to current designs research suggests that the majority of the student came to the university to enhance their career and the job that is through the academic study and the learning process holds many opportunity to enhance your skills and your tutor uh, should uh, explain the clear links to the employability skills attitude attribute and the career management in the learning outcome that is the learning process holds down the opportunities to enhance the skills of the persons and the tutor that makes explicit clear links to the employability skills that is a learning process that hold the opportunity to enhance the skills and that is used for to uh, participate in the career management activities that that includes the uh, opportunity to construct a personal development plan that is a pdp that is reflecting and reviewing your progress is an essential part of your career and developing your employability that is a uh, part of the employability skills and during your studies you you will have many opportunities to enhance your employability skills such as writing expect or the writing assignment so whatever the writing assignment that is taken so you can expect or you can increase or you can enhance your employability skills that is a part of the that is a part of the opportunity such as the writing assignment report and the dissertations taking part in the presentations discussing and uh, discussing and debating and understanding the live brief so these are the various opportunity that is used for the employability skills that is used to enhance the employability skills such as the writing the assignment so one part is writing the assignment then reports then uh, dissertations then taking part in the presentations then discussing uh, discussing and debating and understanding the live brief so whatever the live brief whatever the understanding that is used that is used to enhance the employability and recording your skills and the achievement and reflecting on what you have learned you will help to develop your own self knowledge and provides a bank of evidence that you can relate to an employer at the application and the interview stage 
so it depends on your recording stage it depends on your recording achievement that is the recording your skills and the achievement so record means uh, you will make a clear cut understanding or you can record whatever the skills whatever the achievement that you are taking and reflecting on what you have learned from these achievements and that will help you develop your own self knowledge this is one of the important part that is list out or we can say the record every skill and the development uh, or the achievement that is whatever the skill whatever the achievement that you have so record your skills and the achievement and reflect on what you have learned reflect on means uh, understand or shows what you have learned that will help you develop your own knowledge that is what you have learned from that assignment what you have learned from that achievement that will help you to learn your own self knowledge and provides a bank of evidence that is a group of evidence we can say we can say a group of the information that you can relate to an employer at the application and the interview stage so that is available at the application stage that is available at the interview stage this is through the academic study that is the first part that is through the academic study now second part is through the work experience so first is the academic study next is the work experience so why not think about gaining some such uh, some work experience by understanding a placement on the internship or securing a part time job so what do you think or why not think about gaining the some so work experience by understanding a placement or the internship so if a, if a person is uh, working as a internship or is uh, working as a trainer or the training or taking the training as a internship that secures a or that secures a part time job or that is a placement or the internship so that is a one of the important aim that is used for the employability so why don't you think about gaining some work experience by undertaking a placement or the internship or securing a part time job getting some uh, real work experience is essential for you to develop your skills and you can also check out a potential industry that you are interested in so this is through the employability skills through the argument skills through the gaining skill that is available that is used that is used as a internship or securing a, a part time job that is a placement or the internship that will be available for the part time jobs and getting getting some uh, real work experience is essential for you to develop the skills for you to develop the employability skills that is used for the employability development and you can uh, you can also check a potential industry that you are interested in and you should consider the skills you are develop or you are interested in developing the further and then choose the appropriate context from uh, which to gain such experience so that is used using the through the work experience so when we are studied about through the academic study now next is the through the work experience that is taken as a part that is taken or we can say that it is essential to develop the skills and you can also check out a potential industry that you are working with that you are interested in that is a work experience so that means for example i have interest in my it field that is a computer field i cannot go for the management line but unfortunately if i do not get any job i go for the management line that is through the work experience and it is essential for you to develop your skills and you can also check a potential industry that you are interested in and uh, you should consider the skill that you are interested in developing the further and then choose a appropriate context from which to gain that experience and work experience is really important even if you are employed in a show or working in a bar so work experience is very important if you if when you are employed in a show or you are working somewhere or working in a bar there are transferable skills that you can draw upon such as customer service communication skills numeracy time management flexibility etc so that is a work experience that is one of the important aspect that you can uh, use either you can work in organization either you can work in a, or employed in a shop either you can work in a bar and any field the main is work is work that may be a shop work that may be a bar work that may be office work that may be a labor work but work is a work that is work experience is very important experience and there are some transferable skills that is a transferable skill that is available that you can draw upon that is a transferable skills among the work experience such as the customer service communication skills numeracy time management flexibility etc so these are the various work experiences that is available with the uh, that is available or that is get it to the through the work experience now next is through the extracurricular activities extracurricular activities means 
uh, that is the extra add-on activities that is available with the work experience this I am taking after the break so let's take a short break or 10 minutes break uh, then after that coming to the this part that is how to how to gain the attributes yeah self-confidence is also one of the part so how to develop the employability skills we have studied about the academic study we have studied about the work experience now next is extracurricular activities that is the next part that I'm going to take after the break so let's take a break right now so next is uh, so come back from the break now let's start a session okay so next is through the extracurricular activities that is how to increase the employability skills through the extracurricular activities Okay, Larry, I will I, I will send you via email after the class. So let's start with the extracurriculum activities through the extracurriculum activity. So during the application process, if it, it is important that you can articulate all the skills that you have gained, not just from uh, those from work or the study. So during the process, during the application process, it is not important to gain the knowledge or gain each and every knowledge through the work or the study but also you can gain the knowledge through the extracurricular activity that is available that you can do uh, while while working somewhere while doing something so you may have involved in student society or the club or held a position of responsibility with the university that is also used uh, or the that is also involved in a student that a student society or the club or held a position of the responsibility within the university such as the student representative or the student ambassador ambassador so whatever the student responsibility, whatever the student uh, ambassador that is used, that is the student representative and the student or the student ambassador. That is through the extracurriculum activity. So during the application process, it is important to articulate all the skills that you have gained, not those from the work or the study. And many students or many students acquire a range of marketable skills from undertaking voluntary work. So whatever the work, whatever the student gaining experience whatever the marketable skill that is gaining so that is gaining from the undertaking or entry work so many students acquire a range of marketable skills that is also used as a undertaking the voluntary work and it, it is important to record this as a evidence of voluntary work that is increasing cited as being part of the or as being important to the employer so whatever the work experience whatever the voluntary work that is used as a important part to the employer you can have fun, help others, make friends for life and have a greater experience by becoming a volunteer during the, your time at the University of the Bolton. So you can have fun, you can have help others, you can also make the friends for the life. So you can also have a fun, help with each other and also make the friends for the life and get greater experience by becoming a volunteer or get the high benefit great experience by becoming a volunteer during the time during your time at the time of the or at the university of the bolton and the university has a or has a long tradition of working with local voluntary groups and the charity so whatever the university that is taken that has a long tradition of the working long long part of the learning or long tradition of the working that is used with the local voluntary groups and the charity so that is a part of the university and bolton university students are known throughout the year area for their commitment and the enthusiasm or enthusiasm so whatever the concentration whatever their enthusiasm that is also used for the commitment that is also used with the university of the world and students that is uh, they have the tradition of the working they have the large number of the working that is used with the voluntary group and the charity and there is a wide range of different opportunities from the sports to the of community or the environment voluntary so there is a wide range of opportunity that is also available that in includes sports to the community. So some, some students have a good in the sports, so they have an option to make their career in the sports also. So there will be a different opportunity that may include from the sports to the community or the environmental voluntary that is also environment condition that is also used a part of the opportunities. And the University of the Bolton also carried out or also involved in some initiative tasks so such as for example, if I'm uh, doing uh, or I'm working in the Mercury Solution, that is your institute, I also make the fun, I also make the interactive boards, I also make the get together, I also make the initiative that is used for the anti or from the anti bullying project in the primary schools to pending a center for the homeless to beach the cleaning at the street. So that is also used in the primary schools to painting a center that is used for the homeless to beach the cleaning at the street. And you can also volunteer on and uh, on an ad hoc basis. So you can also use as a, also work as a volunteer on an ad hoc basis. 
get involved in the longer projects projects or longer term projects it's up to you it depends on you whatever the project that you are taking whatever the content you are taking that is you can take the warranty on an ad hoc basis on a temporary basis So whatever the work experience, whatever the job experience that you're taking, that is a, a vacancy of the VST of Walton, that is an anti-bullying project in the primary school to painting a center uh, for the homeless to be the cleaning at the street hood. And you can volunteer on an ad hoc basis or get involved in the long time or long term projects. It's up to you. So you can also do the ad hoc job. You can also do the lifetime object, uh, project that is a permanent job. It's up to you. And the university has a dedicated volunteer coordinator that helps match students with the opportunities and provide the support and the training so whatever the dedication work whatever the dedicated volunteer coordinator that helps a student or that helps match the students with opportunities and provide the support and the learning so whatever the university whatever the voluntary work that helps the students in matching the students in uh, with the opportunities and provide the support and the training this is through the extracurricular activity so we have done with the to the uh, academic study the extracurriculum activity and through the work experience these are the three parts of the work experience these are the three parts how to increase the attitude and the attribute in the employability skills now next is understanding the and articulating the employability skills now one is the developing now next is the understanding and articulating the employability skills so once we develop now how to uh, gain experience that is the understanding and articulating the employability skills that is the attitude and the attribute so it is important for student to become the self aware and recognize their skills they also need to develop the confidence to market their skills effectively when the time comes to apply for the job so whatever the time whenever the time comes so it is important for the student to become the self awareness uh, or the self awareness means self confidence and to recognize their skills and they also need to develop the confidence to market their skills they also there should be also a confidence that is available to market the skills or market their skills effectively when the time comes to apply for the job so when the time is available or when the time comes for the job so you can or the student can apply for the job they also get their confidence in the market to to use their skills effectively uh, to gain the employment to gain the job or we can say the perfect job or the choiceable job that is carried out by the student now it is not enough to say that you have a, a these uh, employability skills attitude and the attribute you need to provide evidence via cvs application program or forms presentations assessments and the interviews as a part of the whole section process for the employment so whatever the employability skills whatever the attitude whatever the attribute that is used that, that is used to provide the evidence via the cvs via the application form via the presentation via the assessment and the interviews that is a part of the whole selection process for the employment and the starting point in applying for employment opportunities is to have a comprehensive personal employability skills profile so whatever the starting point that is used that is applying for the opportunity or that is applying for the employment opportunities that is used to or that is used to have a comprehensive personal employability skills profile and the following table uh, offers student a guide that is how to uh, audit their skills with some contextual example so whatever the contextual example that is used that is used to provide their employability skills so that is used to increase their employability and the list is not exhaustive and every individual have her different experiences from which to so every individual have a different experiences have a different part that is used to share the resources that is also becomes attitude and the attribute and it is important to recognize their relevant personal experiences and the content of different degree discipline that will create the diverse or diverse skills and completing the introduction to employability skills is an opportunity to highlight the skill gap so whenever we use the uh, employability skills that is one of the we can say the main tool that is used to highlight the or highlight the skills gap and to identify the areas for the further improvement so when we use employability skill that will be used as an opportunity to highlight the skills or the highlight the skill gap and to identify the areas for the further 
development so whatever the area out of further development that will be used by the uh, that is used to recognize the personal experiences and the content of the different degree disciplines and that will use to identify the areas for the further development and the career advisor or the personal tutor will be able to help you with this <coughs> part <coughs> and it is important to identify the gaps in your skills early in your degree program so have you have the opportunity to address it. It, it is important to identify the gap so that is what is the gap and how to how to how to we can say the remove that gap that is identify the gap in your skills that is early in your degree program so that you have the opportunity to address this this is a table that we have discussed that is the following table shows uh, for a student a uh, guide of how to audit their skills one is a description then this is the example skill this is the example evidence that is uh, this is the example this is the evidence of the skill this is the team working this is a lag these are the different not a lag lag these are the different description so first is a description that is a communication and the literacy so first part is the communication and the literacy that is a description now what are the various skills required that is a set of the skills that allows an individual to convey information so that it can be received or it is received and understood so that is a communication and the literacy so th the, uh, this this contain or this contains uh, communication and the literacy contain set of the skills that allows an individual to convey the information so that it can be received or so that it is received and understood that is a set of skills that allows an individual to convey the information mm -hmm. i'm just coming within 2 minutes so i'm going for a wash now so these are the various descriptions and these are the various example skills and these are the various uh, example that is the evidence that is used for this one so one is the communication and the literacy and uh, this contain the set of skills that allows an individual to convey information so that it can be received or it is received and understood there are multiple skill that is used that is also used as employability skills that is used uh, a set of skill that allows an individual to convey the information so that it can be received or so that it is received and the understood so this contain a set of skills that is a uh, that allows an individual to convey the message to convey the information now what are the example skills presenting information in the various format that is one of the example skill that is available so present the information in the various formats then motivating and encouraging the others that is motivate and the encourage the other people that is one of the next skill that is used for the information so that it can be received or the understood then questioning so that is a questioning that is used then the ability to relate to a wide range of people so there will be ability that is related to the wide range of the people that is ability to relate to the large number of people to the wide range of people that is used for the employability skill and the ability to accurate that is the ability that is ability to accurate that is used for the employability skills and the listening uh, and the attitude that is used for the listening abilities Uh, then uh, persuading and the negotiating that is also the next part that is the persuading and the negotiating that is the next part of the employability skill these are the various example skills that is the giving and accepting the presentation criticism persuading and the negotiating using the appropriate body language this is the one of the important example of the set of the skill that is used for the communication and the literacy your body language should be accurate that is a set of the or um, using the appropriate body language then ability to construct coherent argument and articulate ideas clearly to the range of the different audience then these are the example evidence these are the example evidence means example that is related to this one that is the presentation of the work experience in the ideas in the seminar groups then presentation of the research whatever the research process that is the presentation of the research
they are becoming a student ambassador they are involving in the extra curriculum activity so that the societies university radio student newspaper that is the example that is how to how to uh, relate uh, to a wide range of people that is one of the example of the extra curriculum activity then becoming a volunteer that is becoming a leader then work experience with the people and the customer then writing the essays report and the discussions or dissertation uh, dissertations then writing and delivering the powerpoint that is one of the important point that is a uh, that is used to develop the communication skill while you present something that becomes a or that becomes a we, we can say the main motto of the delivering the or one main motto of the increasing the communication skills then writing the article for the student newspaper uh, so that it can improve their communication skill as well as the literacy skill that is a writing skill then uh, presenting on the university radio so present the university radio you can speak on the university radio that increases their communication skills then acting as a student representative the same point that is acting as a student uh, leadership or leader then showing uh, around prospective student and parents at an open day that is a, that is a showing around means uh, act as a volunteer on the parents day meeting on the prospective students and the open day that is used as a example evidence that is example or that is a uh, used for the communication evidence the next is the team working that is the next part and these are the various skill that is required for the team working that is a process of working a process of interacting and working collaboratively with the group of the people that is a uh, one of the main skill that is used that is a uh, that is a work with the or work with the um, or process of inter interacting and working with the group of the people in order to achieve a goal that is a team working that is a they must be work together they must be work in a team that is a team working now what are the various example of this one first is contributing the ideas then working with the confidence first is contributing the ideas means uh, that is a if i have some idea i can share my idea with my team so that my idea will be more beneficial for the achieving the main goal the main target is we are, we are going to achieve the main goal that is a common goal if my idea is suitable i can give the ideas that is a teamwork means uh, different opinion can be taken from different persons and uh, idea can or any idea can uh, we can say the easy the task to fulfill the achieved goal or fulfill the common goal that is a contributing the ideas then working with the confidence uh, that is also the one of the part that is working with the confidence means uh, if the persons are communicating with each other there should be a more confidence that is working with the confidence then the taking a share of the responsibility the next is the being assertive showing the leadership then supporting the others that is also the one of the part of the team work that is also one of the skill and then flexibility that is a flexible among the employees so that uh, if we work in a uh, team work so there, sh there should be flexible among the employees then the analysis of a problem or the task that is we can simply uh, if i am working in a team so i can i can easily uh, analyze the problem if my uh, my my thought or the my my mind does not work for the same problem maybe another's mind another uh, role will be important for the achieving the task that is uh, if i am not able to solve that problem another person can e can be easily able to solve the problem that is the analysis of the problem or the task then developing the rapport with the other that is developing the rapport means uh, how to involve with the others that is developing the rapport with the other then one of the important skill is contri or respecting the other that is respect the other team members while you are working in a team don't uh, that i am superior you are not superior no that is not the case if another person is also at the same position where you were if you are working in a team that means you, he or she should also have a sufficient qualification so do not demotivate other but also but only the respect other so that the others can also get motivated to achieve the common then mediating between the people that the mediating uh, mediating between the people the developing and maintaining the network developing and maintaining the network means maintain a network maintain a group that is the developing and maintaining a network the understanding uh, down or understanding own role within a team that is uh, do not forget or do not forget to exploit with others no but only understand on the role or your own role within a the understanding the different culture background that is understanding what are the very different cultural background that is available within the uh, team work then the problem evidence means group uh, work activities that is as a part of the degree subject that is the next part that is the group work activities that is also available uh, 
so doing the group work activities as a part of the degree subject then getting involved in volunteering so getting involved in volunteering uh, that is also a part of the team work that is a getting involved in volunteering project or community activity that is getting involved in the various project or the community activity that is part of the volunteering education then taking part in a university community this is one of the important uh, while building the team work uh, while working in a team that is a uh, building the team work uh, we can say the skill so taking part in the university community such as a sports and the drama drama group because drama group means a group of the people that is a team sports team means sports group means communication of the people group of the people so when you are taking the part in these communities in example these com committees such as the sports drama so you can easily target the skill or you can easily develop their or develop your own team work skills then outdoor team pursuit that is the outdoor team pursuit means for the outdoors uh, with the teams then the duke of the uh, adding work for team then the work experience that is a negotiating with the other motivating and supporting other team members that is a work experience that is negotiate with the other people motivate and support the other team members to resolving the disputes it is a next part that is a work experience so these are the various we can the problem evidences and these are the various uh, example evidences and these are the various example that is example skills now next is the personal impact and the confidence so one next skill is the personal impact and the confidence so um, so the description is that so that attitude which allows a positive and the re uh, realistic perception of ourselves and our ability that is a personal impact and the confidence so the what are the various example that is ability to accurately or accurately assess your own capabilities it is not that i'm uh, assessing my own capability that i'm uh, biased with myself no if i have a knowledge of the five point after the 10 then i have a knowledge of the five point not biased with ourselves that is the ability to accurately assess own capabilities then displaying a sense of control that is displaying a sense of control with my own content that is a displaying a sense of control then positive attitude to the work there should be a positive attitude among the work with the work among the employees there is no no i'm um, doing the work not right now after today that is tomorrow day after tomorrow no that is not the case so ability to seek the advice and uh, sorry a positive attitude to the work then expression of the views your views must be expressed with the other one so that others can also gain the knowledge that is a personal impact and the confidence then ability to seek advice and the support then uh, ability to establish the boundaries that is there should be a limit within the which you can work then taking responsibility for own learning and the respective practice then awareness of the growth you must be aware about the growth that is how the growth takes place progress and the achievement then acting as a role model so act as a role model act as a leadership then displaying the innovation then uh, ability to take the risk these are the various capability that helps to improve the personal impact and the confidence now these are the various examples by which uh, we can uh, improve our personal impact and the confidence that is attend a workshop to develop the self esteem and the confidence develop a workshop or attend a workshop so that you can be able to gain what are the various uh, self confidence and the self esteem and the confidence skills then managing a group task or the work project that is manage a work project so that you can work in the project then signing up as a peer mentor that is work as a mentor so that you can guide the other that it becomes a or that that uh, that becomes a mentee then being engaged as a student ambassador the same point that is work as a student ambassador work as a student leader then having a clear personal development plan and a clear career direction so there, there should be a clear understanding or clear personal development plan and there should be a clear direction direction or clear um, career direction also that is also available for that task then understanding the some voluntary work that understand the some voluntary work that is also the part that also impact the or also increases the personal impact and the confidence next is the organization and the time management next skill that is a how to manage the organization and the time management this i am to going to discuss in the next class that is in the tomorrow's class so we have discussed three skills one is the personal development skills one is the team working one is the communication and the literacy 
this organization the time manager uh, management i am taking in the next class so let's stop over here only if you have any doubts regarding this you can ask the doubt from me and larry i am sending you this uh, pdf to you just wait so so uh, that's all for uh, today's session thank you so much if you have any doubts you can ask the doubts from me so thank you lot everyone bye bye